I want to thank all of my subscribers that sent this story. Several people sent this story to me last night, and I just couldn't do it. This one broke my heart. It really did. Joshua Brown was a key witness in the Botham Shem John case. You know, one of the things that stood out to me were the biblical names, Joshua. And many of you that know the Bible know that Joshua took over after Moses died. And he was leading the people into the promised land. And then we have Shem. Shem, one of the children of Noah and our forefather. You know, that's why you hear the term Shemite. Joshua Brown and Botham Jean had many similar things about themselves. We know they both lived in the South Side Flats. They lived directly across the hall from each other. And one of the things that Joshua Brown said on the stand was he would hear um, Botham singing in the morning. He would hear him singing, mostly gospel music. And these two men were the same age. Both of them would have been 28 years old had he lived. And Joshua was gunned down at 28. So there's a lot of similarities in these two men. One of the things that he feared was his testimony would make him a target. And he was fearing gun violence done against himself. It's not far-fetched for the police to put a hit out on somebody that testified against one of their own. These things happen all the time, y'all. We saw the favoritism that Amber Geiger received. Even on the night that she killed Botham John, when she went outside, those cops hugged her. They hugged her. She got all kinds of preferential treatment. They wouldn't even turn on the cam when she was sitting in the back of a police car. All kinds of preferen uh, preferential treatment you saw happening when it came down to Amber Geiger. Remember, she never got arrested. She got to turn herself in three days later after killing both of them in a whole different county, thinking that if she do that, that would force a change in venue. And she would then, of course, get away with this. And we know the Texas Rangers took over and tried to throw out manslaughter. And the Texas Rangers, after watching how they worked and seeing Armstrong on the stand, you definitely can't put this case in the hands of the Texas Rangers. And, and I have a lot of misgivings about the Dallas police. They really need to get the feds in there, especially a key witness gunned down just days. I mean, we haven't even cleared a whole week of the Botham John trial. We haven't cleared one week. That trial just ended a few days ago. That being said, you know, a lot of people complained about Botham's brother, Brand, hugging Amber Geiger. And I didn't like that either. You know, that was the Christianity in him that told him to forgive. But you saw the judge doing that. But see, I, I look at it like this. When the judge got up and hugged Amber Geiger, you got to understand, all of them are connected in their corruption. The police, the Texas Rangers, and the judges, all connected. Remember, it was the police 
that got Tammy Kemp. They endorsed her to get into office. So you can't look at Amber Geiger as an ordinary defendant. In the eyes of that judge, she was a cop. And that hug told me Tammy Kemp supports cops. That's what her hug told me. She supports cops. I'm sorry, yo, if I'm going a little slow, because this, this is a tough one. So... Another similarity, this happened last night. You know, we know Botham was also killed at night by Amber Geiger and Joshua Brown was also killed at night. So there's a lot of similarities. So I don't have Facebook anymore, but I was hearing from several people that Lee Merritt went out on his Facebook to acknowledge the death of Joshua Brown. And I don't think there's anybody that believes this was a random killing. I think, you know, very much like most people, this was very much in connection of him getting a cop convicted. And she getting a, a 10 year sentence. You know, these folks have an attitude that they should be able to kill us and there is no consequences. Now, Amber Geiger certainly didn't get the consequences she deserved. You know, the, the prosecution was gone for 28 years because both of them would have been 28 had he lived. But they came back with 10 which we know was not enough. There are many people behind bars that are serving more than that on drug possession charges and all kinds of remedial crimes and they're serving more than 10 years. Now the Dallas police would not confirm that it was Brown, but you know, other sources did. And I actually became subscribed to WFAA and I saw what they put out. They had a video out about uh, Joshua Brown being gunned down. So that did pop up um, in my subscriber feed last night. So what happened to him? They said this shooting happened at 4606 Cedar Springs Road around 10. 37. And if you remember, Amber Geiger killed Botham John at about 1030 at night. So you, you see the clear similarities here. Local time Friday. Um, the complainant was found lying on the ground. Now, I heard um, someone shot him at close range. He had multiple gunshot wounds on him. And they said the first one to respond on the scene was the Dallas Fire Rescue. And they took Joshua to Parkland Memorial Hospital where he died of his injuries. Several witnesses said they heard the gunshots, multiple gunshots, and they observed a silver four-door sedan leaving the parking lot at a high rate of speed. So this was a clear hit. You know, he got out of his car, the person came up on him and shot him. So police officials said the victim did not have identification on him, but that could have easily been taken, y'all, at the scene when he was shot. You know... At this point, I don't trust anybody in Texas to handle this. I don't. I don't. 
it, it is just like all police departments in America, it is loaded in corruption. And, you know, cops will do this kind of stuff. And it's not the first time witnesses that have testified against police officers have ended up dead. Or they have to go into hiding. You know, during the trial, Joshua Brown spoke about the shots ringing out the night that Botham was killed. And now we got witnesses coming forward to talk about how they heard the shots ringing out that killed Joshua Brown. We know how dirty cops are in America. And we know that all of these police departments around the country have this belief that no matter what they do to us, they should be able to get away with it. We know that firsthand. And nobody knows that better than the black community. And still, it's never easy when one of our own gets gunned down out here. And I just still remember him crying on the stand. And now I reflect back on that. You know, I, I think he was really in his mind trying to do the right thing by being a key witness in the Botham John case, but doing the right thing cost him his life. And that should have never happened at all, but it did. And it just goes to show you the real dangers in testifying against a cop and what can happen to you in this country. But like I said, this case really should be out of the hands of Dallas and the Texas Rangers because they have proven themselves not to be trustworthy. And really the feds need to step in when a witness to a, a big case, you know, Botham's case was a really, really big one in Dallas, probably the biggest one they've had in decades in that city. And I really believe when something like this happens, this is when the feds need to come in and take over the case. But we know nobody really can be trusted when it comes down to us. You know, it's not like they're going to side with our people. They never do. That is a fact. But y'all, please tell me what you think. You know, I was so disturbed by this. I couldn't even sleep last night. It kept me awake. I hate to see young people die like this. It always bothers me. I can never get used to it. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace family.